Welcome to the Warframe Open Encyclopedia, where today we're checking out the Nell. You can get the blueprint for the Nell from the market for 20,000 credits, and to build it, you're gonna have to put in additional 15,000 credits, 2 Argon Crystals, 5,200 Rubido, 3,800 Cryotic, and 20,000 Salvage. The Nell is a secondary sniper pistol that requires at least Mastery Rank 10, and it does primarily puncture damage with a lot of impact still, and then just a little bit of slash on the side. It comes in with a solid 20% crit chance, a below average 1.5 time screen multiplier and a 5% status chance. On top of that, it has one round in the magazine unless you're using it with Harrow, at which point it has two, and it has a two second reload. Now while the crit damage and status chance might seem low, they're actually not, because when you get a headshot with the Nell, you get a buff called Death Nell that stacks up to three times. This buff lasts two seconds and it decays one stack at a time and it provides you with 0.5 times extra crit damage and 20% status chance per stack. So when you stack this up, the base crit damage and status chance on the weapon are actually quite high. On top of that though, the buff provides you with infinite ammo so you can go full auto while you have it. Now, as you've probably noticed already, the Nell as a sniper pistol comes with a scope, and you really want to be using this weapon while scoped in, because while you're scoped in, you have perfect accuracy, but when you're not scoped in, the accuracy is considerably worse. So unless you really quickly want to get rid of a melee enemy that's charging you down, always remember to use the scope. Now, as far as the build goes, I tend to lean more towards the crit side of things, because you get a bunch of base status from the death nail buff. I also like to go the creeping bullseye route, which gives me more crit chance at the cost of some fire rate. But this is because I tend to headshot the enemies one by one rather than headshot an enemy and then go full auto mowing enemies down hoping to get a few extra headshots along the way. If you would rather do that I would recommend a high fire rate route instead. You could also swap the elements around and run viral and heat instead of corrosive and heat to get some damage over time on top. This is particularly potent if you're using galvanized mods so you're running galvanized shot instead of hornet strike. In this case I would also recommend galvanized crosshairs for your primary crit chance mod as it will not affect your fire rate at all. The nail is a very high risk high reward weapon, it punishes missing a lot and if you cannot consistently hit headshots in the 2 to 6 second window, you should probably just skip it because if you're not hitting headshots the weapon is downright annoying to use. But if you can do it I will absolutely recommend you pick this weapon up because it is very very good. I wasn't a big fan of the nail when it first came out because it was a little bit too punishing but they toned it down a little bit and it's actually quite fun to use nowadays. Don't get me wrong though, it is still a high risk, high reward weapon, so if you're not hitting those headshots you're gonna be reloading it more than firing it, or you're just gonna run out of ammo because the weapon comes with 11 rounds to begin with, so if you're missing a lot, you're gonna be out in no time. So once again, if you can hit those headshots, definitely give it a shot, but if you can't, eh, I would probably skip it if I were you. And as always guys, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.